running knee spurs. My goodness, did you just say food? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so hungry. I can't get food off my mind. Well, I think the lunch can help. Really? Definitely. So let's go to the lunch. Good morning, Lee Spurs. You know why I'm here? Because it's National School Lunch Week. Today's lunch is the amazing crispito with cheese sauce, bean and cheese burrito, Mexican fiesta rice, and assorted milk and fruit. Well, that's it for me. Now back to you, anchors. Thanks, Nevin. Wow, lunch sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm so excited. Speaking of National School Lunch Week, Happy first day of Level Up with School Lunch. It's National School Lunch Week and we will be gaming all week in the cafeteria. Today is an exciting day as Coppel ISD's famous crispitos have advanced from the archives. They are made from whole grains and are packed with fiber, which is good for your gut health. Join us tomorrow for another CISD favorite with a twist pizza featuring local, fresh, and Texas veggie toppings. Hey, Ganeshka, I have a pop quiz. I knew it. What's the word of the week? Justice. And you're 100% sure? I'm 130% sure. Well, to see if you're right, let's go to Vaishnavi. Welcome back, Spurs. Are you ready for the word of the week? I know I am. The word of the week is accountability. The definition is being responsible for one's action. The quote of the week is, I'm not a product of my circumstance. I'm a product of the things I do by Stephen Covey. The lesson in leadership is, if you ask a question in a conversation, you should ask a question in return. It is only polite to show others that you are just as interested in them as they are in you. Well, that's it for me. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, Thanks much, much. me. It was accountability. Yeah. I was 130% sure. It's okay. I hear you. Do you know how many birthdays there are today? There is probably one. I think there's three. Well, to see who's right, let's, let's go, go to the, the birthdays. birthdays. Hey, Lee Spurs! Friday's birthdays were Anamita in B5, Vijay in G5, Saksha in GK. Saturday's birthdays were Christine in RK. Sunday's birthdays were Aditi in P2. Monday's birthdays were Shreve in G5. Today's birthdays are Arjun in G3. Well, that's it for me. Now back to you, anchors. Thanks, Hasika. Hey, Kanishka, do you know the time? Yeah, it's 7.48. Oh, thanks, but do you know what segment it's time for? Yes, I do, so now to the weather. Hello, Lee Spurs. Today's weather is going to be a high of 84 degrees and a low of 61 degrees with a 0% chance of rain. That's it for me. Now back to you, anchors. Please stand for the pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one indivisible. Please stay standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Hello, good morning, morning, and happy Mindful Monday, although today is Tuesday because we had Monday off. So today's self-care strategy is called spaghetti relaxation. So for this one, you need to stand up if you're able to, and I want you to make sure your body is as stiff as a hard spaghetti noodle that hasn't been cooked yet, okay? So we're going to stiffen our body. I want you to make sure those muscles are tight. Your hands are straight at your side. So what you're gonna do is you are gonna hold this tight noodle for about 10 seconds. Great job. Now what I want you to do is very slowly at the top of your head, start to relax. Relax your face. 
Relax your jaw. Slowly release your shoulders. Relax your shoulders. If you've got them held up here, just relax them. Soften the muscles in your arms and in your chest, in your stomach. Release the tight muscles in your legs and slowly release the toes. I want you to take a deep breath in and relax as you exhale. And that, my friends, is spaghetti relaxing. I hope that you will use it this week and in the weeks to come. Awesome. And for our second step lesson this week, we are talking about being responsible. So we are all on lesson four this week. One rule we have here at our school is be responsible. Being responsible helps make Lee a place where everyone can learn. When we're responsible, we can be trusted to do the right thing. We help others. We clean up our messes. We admit when we make mistakes or do the wrong thing. We focus on our schoolwork. This week, think about how you can be responsible and do the right thing in class, in the lunchroom, and out at recess. We hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. Bye. Well, Yanushka, I think we're done for today. Well, if that's all, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.